like that up there. The modern arts were taught to the Americans. Here's another difference. Here's Aikido. I trained in Aikido as a kid. This punch came in. Uh, down. Okay, don't don't throw punches at me anymore. That's Aikido. All right, that's so that's called Ikkyo no, and the movement they refer to as Ten Kung Ho. This was the ancient form. This is Aiki Jiu Jitsu. Setting him up, him up to slice him up, to cut his throat, or whatever you needed to do. That was not taught to Americans. Never. When an American GI got his black belt, he quit his glasses, so he got his promotion. And when it was time for him to go from, America, from Japan to America, something magical happened in that flight. <clears throat> when he left the ground, he was a black belt. He left the ground in Japan. When he landed in the United States, he came out the Grandmaster. And when he opened up his school, who was going to argue? We didn't have martial arts in this country. You say you're a Grandmaster, wow, what's that? You go like this, hiya! Whoa! Whoa, what is that? That's like some crazy Asian stuff. That's right, it is. I'm the grandmaster of it. What, what ended up happening, <clears throat> what ended up happening was this. <clears throat> they didn't have a lot to teach. But what they did know was the military. So they'd line them up. Okay, line up. That's the military. That's the military. Um, do some push-ups. That's military. Uh, do some sit-ups. And, uh, and squat. Yeah. And say hi ya. And say it louder. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Could you do that at home? Sure you could, but we need something to fill the class with. What else can we do? Um, there wasn't a lot to the art. There really wasn't. Let's make some kata up. Let's dance around and say hi ya. It's nothing against modern martial arts. We just have to understand their origins. So when someone says, karate doesn't work, I'll kick a karate guy's black belt. I'll, I'll kick a black belt spot. OK, well, there's a reason why you feel confident. Karate wasn't birthed in war. Oh, judo? I'll take a judo guy on. It was birthed in sport. You could take a judo guy on. His art is not intended to hurt you. Aikido is intended to put you on the ground nicely so that you're not hurt. I love it when I see a billboard that says combat Aikido. What the heck does that mean? Aikido means soft, harmony, spirit. Do you uh, combatively hit him with your kindness? What are you talking about? What are you talking about combative Aikido? Combative Aikido, that, that's, that doesn't make any sense. So when people say, Oh, that doesn't work, that doesn't work, that doesn't work. Well, it does work. Is it a sport? Yes, then it's working. <laughs> it's working for what it was intended to do. Um, it either went sport or it went zen. The idea was to aspire to something greater than yourself. Aikido went zen. Kudo went zen. I think I told you guys this right. So, <clears throat> so Americans came out with this great idea, let's mix martial arts. What an ingenious concept. Japanese are just too stupid to come up with. No, they were smart enough not to give us the concept. We had to come up with that on our own. They didn't want us to mix martial arts. In fact, they'd like it if we just sat here in a squatting position and kept saying, yeah, that was the idea. Let's analyze. Let's analyze karate and analyze the movements of it. It was devised for certain reasons. OK, in ancient combat, when someone threw a punch, you came here and you struck him. You drove him, you drove your fists into key, key nerve centers to make his arms numb so that they wouldn't work. Then you pulled him into strikes once 
you had his back and he couldn't reply. You never fought face to face because that's how you get hurt. You fought when you got to punch him in the back of the head because that's how you're fine. You're fine if you're back there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now in karate, this is what they tell you to do. So you just step back. Why would you want to do that? Sink. If you sink, you will be in balance, but you'll also not be able to move. And punch. Hiya. That is a real karate move. I learned it when I was seven. I can't hit him from here. Do <laughs> you think maybe they were screwing with us a little bit? Just a tiny bit. Okay, here we go. This guy's going to throw a groin kick here. What you want to do is you want to squat. <laughs> is that a good idea? <laughs> and you want to throw both of your both of your arms in defense of your groin. <laughs> because all he'll ever think to do is kick you in the groin. Your face will be fine. <laughs> your body will be fine. And when you squat, <clears throat> you'll be fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, if I could get somebody to do that. That would be so sweet. Please squat. <laughs> Please squat. Good. Now put, get lower. Put your hands down there. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, come on. Are you kidding me? You're squatting so that you're ready to really receive a good strike. <laughs> it would be better if he didn't squat and I punched him. This way he could move. He can't move when you're down there. That's a bad idea. Here's the thing. You squat for balance? Come on, guys. Let's understand physiology and physics here. If you squat, go ahead and squat. Okay, here's the thing. I punch him in the face. There's no leg over here. <laughs> he falls down. That's what happens. There's no leg back there. Does it make sense? So you have modern Americans that say, I developed my own style. I made sense out of karate. Really? You did? I think I might have even started over. I even listen to God. I don't know. You're not going to argue with a punch. You're not going to argue with a kick. You may argue where it comes from. Who the heck puts a fist down there? Here comes an American boxer. That's our history of martial arts, boxing. Okay? And you squat, and you put your hands here. You don't have to be intelligent to realize what's going to happen. <laughs> Does this mean that we're smarter than the Japanese? No. No, but Americans love that idea. Oh, I came up with something better than they ever came up with. No, well, you didn't. You never had the chance to learn what they came up with. They never give you that chance. 